Uh, hello, how are you? Yeah. Feeling very sorry for myself today, Kitty. I know. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sick, Kitty. I know. But, but I'm also feeling sorry for myself for another reason, Kitty. Why, baby? Well, I'm here drinking a lamb sip out of my Dunville's mug that our friends in Dunville's gave to me, right? Right. And um, I'm drinking lamb sip, Kitty. Right, okay. I thought I should be drinking whiskey, Kitty. I thought there'd be a just, like, whiskey would flow and people would be sending bottles and saying, here, Anthony, have a hot whiskey over Christmas because you're not well on us. And nothing came. Not a fucking thing. Is that your subtle way of being on the scab again? Perhaps. <laughs> no t-shirts. I had to buy myself. And, and this is how I feel. Just get stuffed. That's just how I feel this morning. Just you're proper. You're proper sick, aren't you? I am. I, I'm just I'm, I'm down on the whole thing. Thanks, uh, Charlotte, Seamus and the team for the nice mugs. The rest of you is... Yeah, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut then. <coughs> So, we're still playing catch-up because I'm sick. Have I told you I'm sick? <coughs> Flu. No, Ebola or something like you that. You don't have Ebola. You get a cold. I have. I have Ebola. I'm definitely dying. <laughs> um, today, because we're still playing catch-up, but one of the things that I actually it seems to be happening more and more, obviously people aren't listening to me. They're doing their own thing now from now on in. I mean, what's the point of me here? You probably ask yourself that quite a lot, actually. I What's don't, baby, here? I don't. But anyhow, uh, sets. Um, there's a lot of sets in this month's auction. Um, I, I've always struggled with sets. I've always struggled with the concept of a set. Why do people build sets within collections? I mean, I know I collect whiskey. And I, I have sets. I mean, yeah. there's a wee thing. But I wonder what people's purpose for our, our, our collecting sets are. Is it something that they think that there's more increased value in the the set that they get it or I know some people are speaking to them it's a sort of just you know the, the thrill of the chase yeah. and, and catching them all and they're like bloody Pokemon you know or that is my statement isn't it? they're not in Pokemon uh, you don't have to catch them all but people have obviously ignored everything I say yes. and ran on their own yes. and then they're asking uh, us to, to auction them off of them so we're happy to do it, uh, and we're happy to throw them in in, in the sets. Um, sometimes the, the valuations can be people have attached a, a... Sentimental value. Yeah, because they've sort of, they've chased it and they've collected it, and we do have to sort of ground them every now and then. <laughs> Obviously, we don't do that to our customers. I'm not allowed to smack them. No. Kitty, did I tell you I'm drinking lemsip because I'm sick? drink your lemsip. In my Donville's mug. In your Donville's mug, yeah. That Donville's give it to me. I'm surprised you're not wearing your Donville's t-shirt. Ah, oh, that's tomorrow. Is it? Um, <laughs> so, actually, on that. So, in this, we have a, a very interesting one. And I've been talking about these single casts for a while. I haven't been talking about them as a, as a collection. But just the, the individual single casts themselves. This is a cracker of a set. And I really do mean a cracker of a set. This is the single cast collection from the Celtic Whiskey Shop. So this is their original ones. I mean, these are the, some of the first ones that they released. Um, I, I absolutely, I, I like, it, it's fantastic to see them. Um, again, the evolution of the single cast product from Middleton. Uh, the early ones came in a blank box, relatively straightforward label and all that sort of stuff. But these were the ones where this was a single cast of aged pot still and grain whiskey from the Middleton Distillery. Specially selected for the Celtic Whiskey Shop. Um, and the cast number and all that's on it. That's an 11 bottle set. That would have taken a bit of putting together to do. Yeah. I mean, it really is nice to have. And again, there's various different years, various different cast numbers. That is a nice one to have, uh, if I do say so myself. And it, it, it probably is the one time where, you know, you would save yourself a considerable amount of work trying to backdate oh, them, course, find the cast, yeah. buy the set, and it's done and dusted. Great investment, I think... For me, I think uh, single casks are, are a great investment rather than the individual annual year. I think the annual years are very good, but the single cask, I think they get overlooked an awful lot. Beside that, we have the green spot single casks set and uh, there's a, also a yellow spot in there as well. But what makes this set interesting is this bottle here. And this is the Mitchell & Sons green spot uh, for Masters of Malt. Uh, the 10 year old that was only released there this year but look at the bottle number Budgel Ivrahen. Budgel Ivrahen. I like that kitty thanks for that You're prompt uh, bottle number one 
Um, yeah, I, I, the 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 seller of that was quite surprised when he got it. He didn't sort of do it special. He just got it in the, as part of his order, and and he's bloody delirious. Uh, and but is freeing up the money uh, out of the the full set that he has, and is moving it on. So that's another good opportunity. Up top, I didn't bring them all down because they're uh, they're bulky and they're tall and all that sort of stuff. Is the tailing centenary? So the full five uh, single casks from that again to me that's a rare rare set i mean I, i've mentioned it previous times uh there is only 250 of the first four only 225 of the last one in truth there's probably only about 50 possible full sets in the world i would estimate uh, i could be wide, wide of the mark um but they're they're a nice one to have the first one being the black one the ebony one uh, it's a pig to keep clean because it's got lots of scratches on it but uh, that would be the rarest out of the set because back in, in 2014 nobody was thinking about collecting uh, sets uh, there's a 20 bottle set of the red breast single cask we've been talking about these 21 uh, actually 21 sorry uh, 21 uh, of the red breast single cask set we've been talking about them a while the few rare ones that's included in that is included the, the Le Maison de Whiskey one uh, the 25th anniversary one that's really hard to get so again we have had a set of that previously it done well yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not, not saying surprisingly so I mean it's a, it's a good nice set to have some rare rare bottles in it but uh, that's got the big sunny malloys in it uh, and the whole lot so that's uh, a nice kit one. And the whole kit there is a few missing uh, the modern ones like the, the single malt fund um, uh, I think the new temple bar one isn't in it there's, there's a one or two missing out of it would bring you up to date. I think it's about 24 is the the current single cast portfolio. But don't quote me on that. Please don't quote me on that. Because you're sick. I'm sick. Have I told you I'm sick? Yeah. Yes, baby. Yeah. I'm sick. Please. <sighs> uh, staying on the red breast theme, there is a full set of the cask strengths. Uh, 13 different bottles. Um, that'd be a nice one to have. I mean, again, I know some people um, really, really like the, the, the Red Breast single cast. There's a few of them that are particularly hard to get. Uh, the B111 is there, I think, as well. Um, there it's there at the back. Uh, it's hard to get. The 12 and the 13 is not particularly easy as well. I don't think the 14 is. So they have been... Uh, that is a nice set. Somebody's already put in the groundwork on that. Uh, nice one to get. It doesn't have the... Or it does... The mistake. Yeah, I can't I remember know. which way that is meant to be. I'm sure somebody's going to lecture me and tell me it's supposed to be this and that. But I'm sick. Everybody feels sorry for Anto. He's sick. Yeah. And if you want to send me whiskey, it's uh, T, uh, no, A91 W9 T4. And you can wrap the bottle of whiskey in a t shirt. Uh, 2XL as well. Healing Renaissance set. Uh, there's a full set of them in this is in this month's uh, auction as well. That is the second series from Tealing. Um Revival was the first one. Went down well. Tealing is a, it drives me bananas how unvalued people view Tealings. Right. I mean again last month I think there was a, a 24 year old single malt and it went for 380 yeah. quid or something like that. That is a disgrace. It is. It's nothing short of a disgrace because it's the world's best single malt. It, it is phenomenal. Why the hell don't people love Teeling more? Uh, I wish Teeling would love me some more. <laughs> and that, I'm supposed to say, Robert Caldwell, he keeps promising t-shirts and stuff. He's useless. Is he still out of the country? I don't don't care. Hopefully they've deported him back to... Wherever he's from, Kazakhstan or somewhere Robert's like that. Lovely, don't yeah, he's mean? from. Where is he from? Somewhere in Kazakhstan or something like that. But anyhow, uh, he doesn't send me t-shirts anymore, and he didn't send me wee whiskey. Saying here, Anthony, he have did, a hot one. He give you a t-shirt and a hat, so shut your face. Sorry, Robert. Continue. You should send me a message. Go, well. go on. Because I'm sick. Because you're sick. Um, they have brought out a new one, um, and it's reserve something reserve I can't remember the name but again they're staying with the oars uh, they've brought out a new series uh, I don't know how many is going to be in that um, I'd love to know what people's thoughts are, are on the tailing uh, sets because as I say the centenary for me I am have been 
despite their best efforts, I want to remain loyal to them. Um, you, but are, you are a fanboy. I am a fanboy. Uh, I do have the sets myself, um, but nobody else seems to chase them. I mean, again, and they seem to get more engagement in in European countries uh, than than they get in Ireland. Yeah. And and I I just love to know what the mentality is. Is it the legacy? I always think of this. It, it, they suffer from a hangover from Cooley. That Cooley never really gets much love because everybody went, ah, it's just Cooley stuff because there was so prolific it was everywhere. Yeah. And I think Teeling nearly suffered the same thing is that, ah, it's just Teeling. But they make some fantastic whiskey. I mean, they do. some of the, 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 just even the generic run of the mill stuff, yeah. that Bordeaux single grind, uh, 13 year old, we rant and rave about oh. it. We hand it out in the pub left, right, and centre. So if you want to send us a replacement bottle because, uh, no. Um, but we do like to sort of shout about it we do. because it is a, a good whiskey great whiskey for people who are sort of go oh I don't like whiskey yeah, yeah. and we get so many of them people coming into the pub now and they look at the prices and they go oh, it's all mental yeah. but we sort of do sort of bring them around by saying well look it's not everything's not Powers, Paddy, Jameson no. that you're used to there's so much more to Irish finishing whiskey finishing in an Irish uh, whiskey is it, amazing yeah and it's evolved so much yeah so that's it. There is a few more other sets. I, I can't remember them. There's a Game of Thrones set there. As I say, there's a Renaissance set there. You can see it on the back. Uh, there's so, so, so much more uh, in this month's auction. Uh, we're not going to be that big, uh, I say. Uh, it's just around hovering around a thousand mark. Is, yeah. uh, and in a way, I'm grateful. In a way, I'm, you're I'm sick. sick. Yeah, you're right. Pat. Uh, thank you very much for that. Thanks. Yeah, Anybody else wants to give me a hug? Uh, A91, W94. Anywho, we're going live tomorrow. Hopefully. Still, hopefully, all fingers crossed. Don't shout at us if we don't get it. We are still chasing. There's a lot of photography and stuff to be done. Um, there is tomorrow is charity day. We're going to talk about the charities. We have had a huge response to the charity uh, ask that was out there for the Help Alice uh, Cancer Fund. Um, uh, Help Alice Beat Cancer. Um, and there's a few other items in that we have a, a number one from uh, the Blackwater Distillery of their Dirt Grain that's going for their local charity with them there's the Aviators first release there's uh, um, uh, 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 uh. yeah there's more there's loads and that's we'll it. have a proper we'll have, we'll a, have proper a proper look at them tomorrow, tomorrow. exactly perfect uh, so that's it for now uh, I'm going back to feeling sorry for myself drinking my uh, Lemsip look at his Lemsip out of my uh, Donville's mug and to the rest is...